All right, all right, have I got a treat for you guys today. We're gonna do a tutorial. I haven't done one of these in a long time. I'm gonna show you how to make these logos with a 3D printer. I got this cheap necklace off of Amazon, but these logos I've created with my 3D printer. Look at the quality. I'm actually, let me, let me take these down. Look at the quality. Here, look at that. Does that even look 3D printed? I mean, that's crazy, right? 49ers. You can just barely tell. But from, you know, from five feet away, you can't tell. You're gonna, people are going to be thinking this is just like a normal something you bought. Anyway, they also, because they're very thin, they print super, super fast. So I'm using the Bamboo Labs 3D printer. I got an AMS, which is a, uh, actually you can see it over here. There's uh, four spools on the top of it. So you have four different colors that you can print with. And um, yeah, so in this case, we'll do the Buffalo Bills logo. There's only three colors, red, white, and blue. And um, I'll try to make this pretty quick for you. I'm going to use um, Corel Draw for my vector editing software. You can use whatever you want for that. Um, and I'm going to use uh, Fusion 360 for the generating the the uh, 3d file i'm going to show you some quick little tricks with that um so let's get started i'll go to my desktop here don't forget to like share comment subscribe all the fun stuff that all of us creators want you to do uh we'll start by grabbing a logo went to google type bills hit images this was the first one i'm going to go ahead and download this bad boy call it bills it doesn't matter what i call it but i'm going to call it something um, next I'm going to bring that into my Corel software. I've got this set up to match my print bed dimensions. Um, interesting thing is when you bring, um, when you bring these in, uh, to fusion, it'll, it'll take it from the very center point of here as the, the, uh, X, Y coordinate, which is kind of strange. So when you build these, if you don't want to have to move it, you want to move it up into this area somewhere, which is really kind of well, okay. I suppose I could fix that somehow, but I haven't really paid much attention to it. So I'm going to, I'm going to bring it in. You're going to bring this in your, any image you bring in, um, in order to turn it into a 3d print file, you're going to have to, um, vectorize it. Okay. See how it's, it's an image. You can see the pixels. Um, we're going to use this tool called quick trace in Corel. And it's going to quick trace. We'll get rid of this one. It's going to pull this over here. And now take a look. There's no pixels. It's perfectly, perfectly straight. Um, that's vector. Okay. To view it a different way, you can see the wireframe. Okay. The wireframe on an image is that because there's no real um, vector coordinates. It's just an image. And vector has these coordinates. And this is what um, your software, your design software is going to pick up and you're going to be able to export a DXF um, from the software based on vectorization. So anyway, we'll go back to regular enhanced view. Um, the cool part about this one is uh, it does have white, even though you don't see it. Okay. Let me put that to the back. Oh, wait a minute. I know what I did. I got ungroup at first. There we go. It does have a white border, which is cool. So if I add a line there, you'll see <clears throat> that the white border is there. Um, so that shape will come across. So we'll go ahead and get, get rid of that for now. I'm going to export this as a DXF. You can use SF, SVGs, um, but in my case, Bill's uh, DXFs. Bill's DXF is going to work better than a Bill's SVG. I don't know why. I've always had better luck with DXFs inside of Fusion 360. Okay, so I've exported it. I'm going to go to Fusion 360. This is a fresh, a fresh layout here. I'm going to turn my origins on. I'm going to see how my Z, X, and Y are a little off. I want the front to be on my X axis, so I'm just going to change this to the front. And now this will be my bed and I'm going to go ahead and insert that DXF. 
I gotta find it. Select for my computer. There it is. Bing, bing, bing. And there it is. There's my my bills. Um, there's my bills uh, DXF. Now, if you notice, like I said, it brought it in as a as a uh, you know off of that middle piece. So, which is kind of weird, but anyway. So there we go. You might want to move it to the right just a touch. There we go. Now, the trick. In Bamboo Studio, which is the software that comes with a Bamboo Labs printer, you have the ability to paint. Like, I can tell it, I want this to be this color, I want this to be this color, I want this to be this color, this to be this color, and so on. So in order for that to happen, you have to establish those, um, those areas. And if you look at, well, I'll, sh I'll show you in a minute. Um, if you, the way it works is it's looking for those boundaries. So you have to kind of trick it. So how I'm going to do this is I'm going to extrude the entire panel here. Okay. The whole thing, um, the exact thickness that I want. Now this thickness that I did this at is 1.2 millimeters. So it's only like six layers, something like that. Um, so I'm going to go negative 1.2 cause I want it to go down and you'll see that it's created um, the 3D print now. If I printed it just like that, that's what you would get. Um, the reason I went down is I wanted my sketch to stay on top, so it was easy for me to grab. It's just a, it's just a hack, basically, because I'm lazy. Um, so I'm going to extrude again, and I'm going to extrude the other colors that aren't white. Like, everything on here is going to be white, with the exception of these other things that's going to be red. This is going to be blue. That's going to be blue. That's going to be blue. And then I'm going to take that and I'm going to extrude that negative 0 0.05. Okay. Just enough to scratch the surface. If I hide my sketches, you'll see that. Yeah, you can see it, but it's so negligible. Remember you're, you're printing at 0.2 millimeter layer height. So 0 0.05 is literally nothing. Um, so anyway, there we go. I'm going to export my body. And this is my 3D print. I'm done. Save as a mesh. Um, we're going to go ahead and call this uh, Bills. Bills. Okay. Go to, go to Bamboo Labs. I'm going to bring in the three, the Bamboo Studio file, which is uh, 3MF or STL, whatever you prefer. And now you'll see <clears throat> that it's in it's actually already defaulted to white. I can change that to whatever I want, but I'm going to leave it white because that's how I, that's how I built it. I built it white. Um, my colors go on the other side though. So we've got it here. We've got to paint this up. I want to tell this software what colors I want where, and here are the corresponding colors in my, that are loaded in my machine. The first one, is here and I've got this selected for fill. I've got edge detection selected and I'm not going to change anything else. So the parts that I want blue are going to be this part, this part, and this part part that I want red is going to be this part. And that's it. My logo is done. My logo matches the logo online. It matches the uh, filament colors in the slots that I have them picked for. Um, and that piece is over. So the last thing you want to do is flip it. We're going to print the colors first, and then we're going to let the white fill it in in the back, and then we're going to be done. So I'm going to flip it over. Green, 180. And there we go. Now the top of this is going to be um, white. And when I slice it, uh, I'm going to be on preview and there's six layers. Like I said, we're down to layer four. So there's two layers of white, three layers of white and three layers of white, red and blue. And there you have it, folks. That's it. Bring away and then you'll have it have it done so. So I made a lot of assumptions here. 
that you guys know how to set up your colors in Bamboo Studio and all that fun stuff. But that's how I make these um, these little guys. And they print so fast, like 20 minutes, something like that. They're so cool. Um, you could do all kinds of stuff. And you can also do uh, different colors. Like for my, for my Niners one, I printed the base in black. Now the problem I ran into with black is that it's so thin. The color layer is so thin that the black actually changes the color. And when you're doing something like, hold on one sec. You're doing something like a lighted sign. Okay. You want the colors to pop. And you also want to distribute the light easily. So that's the same method that I did. There's another video on this. I'll link it somewhere. Um, how to make these lights. And it's the same concept. And they print so fast. It's ridiculous how quickly these things print. Um, and for the bang for the buck, you get a cool little product. You can make it quick. And uh, that's it. That's all I got. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Peace out.